So we are on day three of REI, and today we are meeting a very, very important person for the solar industry in India, and that's Mr. Manish Gupta. Uh, Mr. Gupta is the founder chairman of Insulation Energy. It's a company which everybody is familiar with, and they are, he's probably one of the biggest success stories in the sector today. So welcome, Mr. Gupta. Thank you. Thank you, Kitty. So, uh, Mr. Gupta, everybody knows you. You are a familiar face. You have been a very long-term spokesperson for the industry. How do you feel about this journey today for India? And going ahead, what are you looking forward to? Uh, definitely, for especially the solar, uh, the journey of the solar industry in our country is growing. Uh, government also having very bullish on this sector. We have a very good target uh, up to 2030. Government has already announced the target uh, for renewable sector, 500 gigawatt up to 2030. Out of which, uh, 500 gigawatt, 293 gigawatt is from solar. And our Honorable Prime Minister is confident to fulfill this capacity by making India component manufacturing. So for this, we also think that is, uh, in this uh, ongoing years, the Indian manufacturing is evolved. Right now, we are also having very good capacity for solar panel manufacturing in our countries. More than 50 gigawatt manufacturing capacity we have already have. And as far as my uh, information or I, whatever I have collect uh, information from our industry, very soon we will reach up to 100 gigawatt of the manufacturing capacity in our country. And uh, government already announced in last RE Expo, means RE uh, in Ahmedabad in last month, that we are uh, within next five years, the government is around 30 hundred thousand crore of rupees of the investment in this uh, solar sector, especially manufacturing sector. And out of that, uh, solar panel manufacturing should be 325 gigawatt in our country, and 250 gigawatt is from solar cell. So I think it's a very good time for uh, component manufacturing. Government is also supporting us with the BCD, with the ALMM. And in near future, government is also supporting with the ALMM part two, which is uh, the solar cell is also yes. come under the ALMM. So I think the future is very good. And uh, also our, there's a very uh, big congratulation to our country people that they are very much uh, now uh, enthusiasm or they are uh, very much support for the Make in India, this campaign, uh, this uh, DCR uh, solar panel campaign by the Pradhan Mantri Surya Yojana and other Yojana. So I think the future is very bright. Thank you. Uh, one of the issues was earlier that we started making modules, but the cells used to come from China. Now we are making cells gradually, but now wafers will come from China. They'll continue, even in goods. Do you see a risk there tomorrow if wafer prices go up of the impact on India? No, I don't think so. Uh, there is no risk because you say this is a global market. We cannot make everything in any country. So we need to support from other country where the raw material is available. Definitely, government is planning the complete chain, chain of solar manufacturing in our country from polysilicon to, uh, to solar panel. But it will take some time. And now the time is begun for Indian manufacturing. Now we are very much confident that we are independent in the solar panel manufacturing. Within next two years, we are independent in solar cell manufacturing. Then later, the solar wafer and the uh, ingot and the polysilicon should also be uh, make uh, manufacturing in our country. So up to 2030, I am 100% sure we are completely uh, means independent for all manufacturing from polysilicon to solar panel, including all component, including glass, aluminum frame, junction boxes, etc. in our country. Mr. Gupta, we'll come back to insulation energy now. You have had an amazing stock market debut. The stock price has done very well, which means investor expectations are also very high. Yeah. So what are, how are you planning to progress going ahead to meet those expectations? So definitely, uh, as far as insulation energy, we are the first company uh, past two years back who come purely solar panel manufacturing company who entered in the capital market. We came with our uh, IPO that time. And now the, our company is growing, our investor is growing, and uh, I am very much thankful to my investor. They, uh, they uh, means uh, confident with our company. They confident with our growth. And in this uh, this uh, regard, the company is also expanding a lot. Now we are expanding three gigawatt. The next phase within next six months for solar panel manufacturing, 1.5 gigawatt in solar cell manufacturing, 12,000 metric ton annual capacity of aluminium frame. And later we are also double this capacity in the year 25-26. The total we are targeting within next three years, six gigawatt of the solar panel, three gigawatt of the solar cell, and two th uh, 24,000 metric ton of annual capacity of the aluminum frame. 
so uh, we have a complete roadmap uh, for our future plans and which you already unveil in our this uh, upcoming uh, board meeting also so one other uh, issue was that you spoke about pm suregar you spoke about the impact of pm kusum and we have seen that having a bigger impact now but going ahead if you look beyond 29 maybe to 2030 what do you think will be the next big driver of solar adoption in india would it be the corporate sector corporate industrial where are the big drivers for that future so i think that uh, you know first of all uh, right now india is the power deficit country we are 52 uh, means uh, 52 va number hai hamara in the per capita consumption of the power in our country so government also already in, uh, want to increase this capacity and if you see the power uh, ministry already unveil their future plans where they up to 2032 government is planning to double the uh, means uh, power generation capacity in our india and this double of the capacity should be increased in all manner no doubt government also need to increase by thermal hydel nuclear solar wind in all all aspect as far as this the capacity increasing the demand is also increasing now the solar is very popular in the ci indi sector residential sector commercial sector ground mounted project apart that government is very much keen to uh, means cooperate solar industry with the farmers pehle kehte the kisan anna data hai ab government ka naya nara hai ki kisan anna data ke sath sath urja data bhi banega so for this slogan government is also come with the kusum component b kusum component a b c these three schemes where government is want to uh, means install solar plant in their land uh, farmers land and also want to replace their pumps from diesel electricity to solar so it's a i think there's a huge market should be create in future and also one more market is upcoming for indian market that is hydrogen means the hydrogen with the green means the green hydrogen so i think up with the green hydrogen up to 2030 huge demand should be generated in our country so maybe as far as demand wise i don't think so there is a pro- any problem we are very much confident the demand also increasing when the capacity is increasing sir in in developed markets we have seen the impact of energy storage as prices have fallen people are going for solar with energy storage when do you think we could see something like that in india very soon i think within next 2 3 years you will see very soon the same the uh, the new power plant mela projects and new tenders are coming with the solar storage with the storage of the power right right so you can see this very visible in the next 2 3 years in right. our country thanks a lot for your time thank you thank you sir thank you